Hello and welcome back to the uh, tutorial series uh, for creating Pong in Unreal Engine 4 using Blueprint. So we've got basically everything set up and what we want to do now is we're going to make the two player version of Pong. That way you can uh, play against a friend or any kind of opponent you want. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, let's see where we're at. We got our levels. Go to the menu level and let's see what we got here. We got player one. Let's go to P1 main. So the way we're going to approach this, it's kind of a, a low-tech approach, but it shouldn't be too bad. First go to P1 main, grab your reference BSP, we don't need that anymore. Or I'm sorry, we may actually need that. Yeah, go ahead and grab the BSP, put it uh, to zero, right in the center so it overlaps everything. Then go ahead and grab everything in the scene. Oh, hold on. Uh, I seem to be... Oh, okay, yeah, you can just go up here. Go to reference BSP, just grab everything in the scene from the outliner. Everything there is, while you're over here, just hit control C. Good. Save that level. Go to a new level. Completely empty. And go ahead and just hit control V. And there you go. You got all your stuff in a new level. So, what do we want to do here a little differently? Grab the VSP, slide that guy over. And what we're we gonna do? Instead of actually having this artificial intelligence paddle, we're just going to substitute it with a uh, input paddle. But we're not going to be using a player pawn because if you have, a, you can only have one player pawn assigned to a single keyboard. So, like, I couldn't control two pawns with a single keyboard. You need an extra game controller or something like that. So, we're just going to make an actor that just takes input and just moves based on that input, and that shouldn't be too bad at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with that. So, first off, we have our uh, our enemy paddle here. I had to delete that. And uh, before we continue, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Before we continue, what we do want to make note of um, is since we've copied everything and it looks pretty good, but we haven't copied in the information for the uh, blueprint, uh, level blueprint. So this is all blank. Before we continue, let's get that real quick. Go back to P1 main. We're going to save this level first, though. We'll save this as P2 main. And we'll go back to P1 main. Go to main, blueprints, open level blueprint. And we just need this information so that we set the camera up correctly. Go ahead and get Control C. Go back to P2 main. Go to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint. Go into here, click, and then copy in. You'll notice it says Receive, Begin, Play, Copy, Delete that. Also delete this unknown. Drag the event Begin Play into the View Target with Blend, uh, exec, uh, Execute, Pin. Get your player controller there, that's fine. Hit Compile. Go back to the main view, go to unlit, go ahead and grab your camera, and go back into the main uh, the level blueprint, right click, create a reference to camera actor, plug that guy in, hit compile, go to the main view again, and let's see what happens when we hit play. Awesome, so this is what we wanted. So if we go ahead and hit play, you see that there's no paddle near side, still score, still boundaries, just got to put that other paddle in. So we're going to do that. Pretty straightforward. All we need to do is go into Blueprints. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a couple different things there. Let's go to a static mesh. Let's grab a paddle, right click on it, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go to Asset Actions, create a blueprint using this. And this is going to be BP uh, Paddle Left. So it's not a pawn, but it's just a normal paddle. Um, but it will be controlled kind of like a pawn, but it's not actually a pawn. Okay, so we'll go to Static Mesh, and we'll change all the settings to be like the other paddle. So we're going to turn on physics, turn off, uh, turn off gravity, make our linear damping 10. Uh, the rest looks good. Physics actor, okay, good. Compile and save. Go to our event graph. And inside here, what do we have to do? Well, basically, just almost the exact same thing in the other one, except uh, just a few changes, really. So what we want to do is, I'm just going to X out the air st our stuff we don't need. We don't need the ball menu. We don't need the ball. We don't need the Pong HUD. All we need is the left paddle, which is now here. Paddle left. And we also need the paddle right. Open that guy up. Now what do we have in hide here? Basic controls. Grab all of this. Control C, go to paddle left, paste it in. Plug in this, 
And if you have a look around, we go, okay, set actor location, all looks good, looks good. This is the one thing we'll have to change. But let's just see what it does right now. Got an issue there. Target must have a connection. Ah, yes. This is still getting the add force, uh, trying to add force to the pedal right. You can see that says right and then under line C. Here it still says right. We need to swap this out for one that's going to use this left paddle. And we simply do that by just making a new one in this script. Because sometimes when you copy things over like that, it gets messed up. Go ahead and plug that value in there. And then if this is false, plug that into there, compile and save. One thing we will need, I believe, we'll see what happens before we do anything. Grab our left paddle, zero it out, put this at negative 1950, and hit play. You notice, no controls, right? I think what we got to do here, go to static mesh, no, I'm sorry, DP, uh, DP paddle left. Let's see if we can change some settings here. Auto receive input, player one, or player zero. That's going to be just basically player one. Um, if you had multiple players who are playing locally, you can set it up differently. Go to play. There we are. So now we've got paddle here on the left moving. But you notice I'm pushing up and down the keyboard and nothing was happening. Nothing really of any significance <laughs> on the other side, right? Because we didn't want to lose control on the other side. reason for that is, is if you go in here and you see if you click on the P1 move up, it has an option for consume input. And that means that once one object gets uh, input, like this object, any other objects that are implementing you know, the ability to move with that same input will get uh, deleted. So it will only work with one. And I should fix this. In fact, it does not. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, seems like, let's see, consume input. Let's turn that off. And turn it off on this guy too. Let's see if I was right. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. No, I'm not. Okay, good. You saw there both paddles are moving, which means both are now getting input. They look like they're behaving almost exactly the same way, which is excellent. But we don't want to control both with just, you know, up and down the keyboard. We want the guy on the left to be player two. We want him to have his own controls. So you have get P1 move up. We got to make a new axis mapping for player two. Go ahead and save your scene, go up to edit, project settings, then go to input, and hit click the plus button. And delete all of this, and type in P2 move up. Oops. And inside here you can set up the controls for the second player. So I'll do a W for up, do an S for down, standard kind of controls. We'll make this a negative value. Oops. Now we have that axis to actually use. So if you go back to our paddle pawn, or player left, right click in here and type in P2, move up, axis values. Plug that guy in there, and now we hit play. We have two separate controls. So I'm controlling it on the left and on the right. And if you notice, it goes right through that paddle because we have yet to set up a cast check for this type of paddle, which is actually different from the other one. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Go into the BP ball. We just need to put one more check inside here. So we have the right paddle, the enemy paddle, all this other stuff. Let's move the enemy paddle and the rest of this down quite a bit. Grab that guy too. There we go. Alright, so all we can do is set it up basically for another paddle, which just means go ahead and copy all this, paste this down, and instead of these two, we're just going to be casting to the uh, left paddle. So it's has to BP, and you'll see it right there, uh, left paddle, or paddle left. Drag off of that guy to get physics linear velocity. That's getting the velocity of that paddle. And go and just plug in these guys like we have before. So if the cast fails, plug it into that dude. Disconnect that one. If this cast fails, plug it into that one. Let's clean this up a little bit so that we can tell where it begins and ends. And now, if we go back in, in the player two or P2 mode, what happens when it hits? Perfectly fine. 
And we now have a two-player game. So that's it. Uh, we got player two running. Uh, next video, we're going to tie up all the loose ends and bring the whole uh, uh, UE4 Pong to a conclusion. So if you like this video, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe and comment. And I also have fan funding enabled if you want to help support me further. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.